Hi, my name is Ryan Fortress, Senior Tech Alliance Engineer at VMware Carbon Black, and today we'll be going through the integration between VMware Carbon Black Cloud Enterprise EDR and Proofpoint Emerging Threats. We start out in the GitHub repository. This is an open source integration available for free. It requires Python 3, a subscription to VMware Carbon Black Cloud Enterprise EDR, and a subscription to Proofpoint Emerging Threats. The setup is pretty easy. It's a config file where you will populate the API keys and then install the requirements. The usage is through a series of arguments. The first is the category, which will select the threat feed to ingest into Carbon Black Cloud. The second is the severity. This will filter the IOCs from that feed by severity. This is going to be a score of 1 to 10. And then two arguments of domains and IPs, which represent uh, if domains is provided, pull the domains. If IPs is provided, pull the IPs. You can provide one or both of these. So let's take a look at that config file real quick. It's under the app folder, config.conf. There are three elements that need to be populated for Carbon Black APIs, the org key, the API ID, and the API key. And then for emerging threats, the API key. If we take a look at the integration in action, we can open up a terminal. And first, we'll start out and just take a look at those arguments. Okay. And again, category, severity, domains, IPs. Now, with the category, how do you know which threat feed you want to ingest or which threat feeds are available for ingestion? We can either provide a category of list or no arguments at all and it will output them. So we can either do category list or the same thing would happen if we just did uh, app.py with no arguments at all. Okay, so looking through here, these are all the feeds available for IP. These are all the feeds available for domains. Let's pick one here. We'll use XE source, copy that, and let's use that as the category. And then we want a severity of seven. And we want both domains and IPs. So when we hit go, it's going to go out, pull that data, parse it, trim it down to just the IOCs in a severity of seven or higher, and then organize them into a feed for Carbon Black Cloud, which would be one report per severity for domains and IPs. We'll see what that looks like here in just a second. So let's go in and take a look in Carbon Black Cloud under Enforce watch list and we're going to subscribe because this is a new feed search for emerging threats that's our exe source subscribe and now when we go back to watch lists we find our emerging threats exe source in here and if we look at these reports so this is where i was talking about it's broken down by severity and by type. So these are all domains with a severity of 10 or higher. Same for the IPs, all IPs with severity of seven or higher. So anytime any of the IOCs in these reports are observed on any of the endpoints, we will end up with an alert, which we can then go in and begin investigation or remediation. So this has been an overview of the integration between VMware Carbon Black Cloud Enterprise EDR and Proofpoint Emerging Threats. Let us know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.